a hunch And I'm a critic cunch And we ain't got no lunch And now we eating cornbread Like we ain't had a kill Like I ain't talking about a Klondike I was tripping about the big homies Who had it down right I was dreaming about the big money That get me all right Like MC in bags and big G-pads But I ain't got no G-pads Like I ain't get that And I won't fit that I'm super cheap To probably cut grass I'm super To probably go and get my shoe rack Like homie don't do that Go and get my Stanley Cooper post pack Play Okay, I got it. Guess if you wanna tell me earlier, y'all would've caught it. But a real Georgia John never come with a profit. Guess that's what you get when you took the southern product like I don't wanna see be homie. All on you. And now Austin Slater. The pitch. That's a strike. And that's how this game gets started. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't get a knock right here. That pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see enough. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss oh, as he was late that time. Righty delivers. Got it by him for the K. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. A half inning of play. Miguel Rojas at the play. The pitch. Out towards left center. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage. And he squared it up nicely. And now it's Gavin Lux. Two hits and five at bats last night. That one blasted deep to right. Yastrzemski going back on this one. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, David Peralta. And Boog, you know he's happy seeing a righty out there on the mound in this one. I mean, over 300 against righties on the year. So definitely you expect him to try to tack on a few more points of batting average with a couple of hits. Should be a good matchup for him in this one. Now it's Mookie Betts. An RBI machine this year. Right near the top of the league leaderboard as the season winds down. Back up the middle and a base hit. Rojas coming home. He'll score easily, and it's 1-0. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. So two down, and up next for Los Angeles, Max Muncy. He was hitless in four at-bats yesterday. On the ground. Oh, great stop. Nicely done for the out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's the Giants' DH. Jock Peterson. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first, and quickly one away in the second. J.D. Davis, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. And there's a foul ball. 
Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Bowen two to Davis. Battling here as he fouls it away. Field two. This ball's chopped on the ground. Two up, two down. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Giants down in order. We head to the bottom of the second. Chris Taylor now. And a pitch. The other way. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Taylor races for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. David Peralta at the play. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Gonzalez grabs it on the run. And stepping in is the speedy James Outman. Two hits in the game last night. That one lifted to left. Slater gets under it. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. Batting nine, the catcher. Austin Barnes digs in now. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Out there to center, Yastrzemski settles under this one. He's got it, and that is out number three. Top half of the third. Back here at Chavez Ravine, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Yastrzemski sizes this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One away. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Slater makes the grab, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Mookie now. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. That one is absolutely belted. And out of here. Mookie Betts blasts one out. His 29th of the season. It's 5-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Slater gets under it. And that ends the inning. Dodgers claw back a bit with this homer. It's now 5-2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back. New inning. Get so the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Caleb Ferguson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. With all these Giants showing great discipline at the plate. And patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say their chase rate or swings at pitches outside the zone is under 25%. And I think that's a big reason why they're scoring runs. Kicks and fires. 
This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Freeman makes the grab. And there's one away. And it goes just foul. Chris, you look at it. These are the spots where guys can come on, pitch well, instill some confidence in the manager, and all of a sudden, they're pitching higher leverage spots in the postseason. Well, in this final month, I mean, this is an audition period for the call-ups, but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up and be on that playoff roster. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. Takes it himself, and that will end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Chris Taylor. The wind of the pitch. Hammer, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. So digging in, David Peralta. That one hit to right. Gonzalez sizing this one up. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. The batter, the center fielder. And now the center fielder, James Outman. That's out to center field. Yastrzemski on the move. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there are two outs. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Austin Barnes. Swing and a ball popped up. Estrada under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Brandon Crawford. And first offering is fouled off. Randy Crawford, a kid who grew up. Phil Bickford into the game. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And Crawford is set down. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Swing and a bouncer. And he grabs it in foul ground. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. And it gets by him. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. To second for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Man at first. Here's the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Next pitch has popped up. Barnes gets rid of the mask. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here in L.A., and the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Line drive, hauls it in for the out. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. 
In the air, left field. Slater gets under it. And he makes the catch. And there are two down. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one back there. And gone! Freddie Freeman bops one out of here. And they close the gap. It's 5-3 just relentless this team will not quit when you're working with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you they hand the ball over to a new arm Camilo Doval and as relievers go he's not a big strikeout guy he tries to force weak contact so command and execution are huge for him here's Mookie Betts The 01. And that one hammered. Slater ranging back. Back some more. And it's gone. An absolute blast to left. Home run number 30 on the year. It's 5 4. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Here comes Max Muncy. And it's fouled away. The tying run at the plate. Foul ball. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Estrada over to pick it up. That's out number three. Back here at Chavez Ravine. We go to the ninth. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Outman settles underneath it and makes the grab. And there's one away. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Center field. Outman snags it for the second out. This is Joey Bart. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the... This looks like extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. All over that one right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the Giants' leadoff hitter, Austin Slater. And first offering is fouled off. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Bounce to the left side. Whips it to first on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for San Francisco. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Taylor Rogers. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Yastrzemski pulls it in, one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And that should be extra bases. Crawford with a relay throw, but he's in there easily. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Now a move being made at second base. Pinch running here, Jose Ramos. And now the center fielder, James Outman. Up the middle, Estrada picks it up. Just one out remaining for the Dodgers. 
First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.